No! No! Something you need to know about that motherfucker. Damn. He playing you. You're going to prison. Hey. No. Janard ain't the snitch. It could be big. We'll see. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang. In this video, we're diving into our boy Diamond because it looks like he's going to be on Demon Time in these coming two final episodes. And that's because of the events that have taken place throughout this entire season, mainly season two, episode seven. So we need to dive into everything that went on, the death of Leon, Leon's dad going snitch and tell the PO that Diamond is still dealing drugs, leading to Diamond ultimately killing his parole officer and also we need to dive into the season two episode nine trailer where we see diamond and tommy arguing about who is the stench between janard and vic and we also see in the trailer two specific scenes one of diamond drowning someone so he's definitely gonna get commit a murder in that next episode and we also see a scene of diamond and tommy leaving with shovels as if they just got rid of the body now this could be the same person he's drowning it could be not we're just gonna have to sit back and dive into everything because once again he's gonna be on demon time in these coming episodes now i do want to tell you guys also another video will be dropping tomorrow as the raising canaan season three trailer be dropping so expect a video breaking down the trailer of what's to come diving in today i can't wait so once again leave a like comment subscribe make sure notifications are on because i will be dropping a video tomorrow back to diamond the thing i really want to focus on is who do i actually think it is he's drowning and who do i think it is him and tommy are burying in this scene as well and also there's a quick moment and scene that cuts fast that looks like they're torturing someone so i want to dive into who those things could all possibly be will he make a huge mistake in these coming episodes because he's not in the right mind Mindset. like we saw him in the last episode drinking drugs all over him money all over the floor before he got caught by his po so he might still be crashing out and because of this he might make a mistake that might cause him tommy the whole organization and even most of all janard because like i said as we've seen in the preview trailer they're trying to figure out if janard or Vic is the snitch so can diamond being in the wrong state of mind him being on demon time cause him to make a huge mistake that he's gonna regret we're gonna have to dive into all that in this video so once again leave a like comment and let's go ahead and jump into diamond and will he make a huge mistake in these final episodes so to quickly recap the events that took place with Diamond in season two so far is he's mainly been getting closer to this kid, Leon, and his mom. He's been teaching the kid, of course, how to box and everything like that. And he eventually started liking his mom and went on a date with her. So they got close together. They had sex, everything like that. And this kind of was causing him to neglect him actually being in the game. I believe he missed two meetups because of this, the meetup with the DSD these and then meet up in the most recent episode because Tommy told him he had to be there but Leon said he was gonna be on the news and he wanted Diamond's help to hear his speech and everything like that so Diamond went and did that instead and sent Janard to the meetup so this was causing him to kind of neglect his responsibilities unfortunately for him this is kind of what got Leon shot and killed Diamond was teaching him how to box and Leon got approached by these two dudes was talking shit now I'm gonna not go cap he took off his jacket hit dude with a mean one and dude got pissed and mad Diamond was celebrating dude up that bitch and shot Leon right in front of him and there was nothing Diamond could do to save him of course leon mom blamed him everything like that and once again how i mentioned in the intro leon's dad went and told diamond's parole officer that diamond was still dealing drugs also earlier this season diamond actually choked up leon's dad because leon's dad was abusive towards him trying to fuck over him so diamond told him back off or he will kill him 
So he went and snitched on him after Leon died, both blaming Diamond for what happened. This all ultimately led up to the end of season two, episode eight, where Tommy is going to Diamond's barbershop, trying to get him back under control, trying to get him to chill out. But the parole officer was already pulling up and he walks in right on Tommy and Diamond with drugs and money right beneath him. And when this happens, he pulls out his handcuffs ready to arrest Diamond and Diamond pulls out a razor and slashes this nigga across the throat, brutally kills him. And it's so fucking funny. Tommy is smiling after this. He know he got a demon on his team who's ready to do whatever. Remember, this is like the second technically cop they killed this season. Earlier this season, Seamus, like I said, we're recapping everything that happened this season. Earlier this season, Seamus was blackmailing Diamond for money still because, you know, Diamond dealt the drugs that got his, his sister needing money so she could stay in the hospital, stay alive, everything like that. So Seamus was pressuring him to give him money. This even got him approached by Tommy. Tommy asking if he's a snitch, pointing a gun at him. And ultimately that all led up to D-Mac coming and killing Seamus because Seamus had a gun pointed at Tommy and Diamond. So now him killing his parole officer, it's a lot of heat on these two niggas. And also another major factor is his dad died also this season. So it's a lot of debt that's been around Diamond as we've seen. And that kind of what reunited and brought him and Jannar back together to rekindle and reunite CBI. So that's kind of the only good cause and effect of something bad that happened to him this season. So Diamond, he's in a pretty bad spot with all the events that have just taken place. And what we see in these upcoming trailers, he has to be in the right state of mind or I think he's gonna make another huge mistake. Now we need to dive into these upcoming trailers and how all this could translate. And if he'll be in the right state of mind, who I think it is he's killing in these two scenes, what I think is actually going on. So let's dive into that part. And last up, the episode nine trailer, who is Diamond and Tommy torturing? Who is Diamond drowning? And who is in the scene that they are carrying the shovel? And I have three different people and answers for each of them. So let's get right into it. First off, the burial, the shovels. I think this is easily the parole officer. I think based off what we just seen in the final episode of Diamond killing the parole officer, we see Tommy rush, lock the door. They of course have to clean up all the blood. They have to get rid of the body. So I think this just correlates easily to that scene being a parole officer because they have to do something about it also if you look they're wearing the same exact clothes as diamond and tommy was wearing when they killed them and the same exact clothes from the burial or when they're carrying the shovels so i think this scene was most likely take place towards the beginning of the next episode especially because we see in the scene in the trailer where diamond drowns the person who i'm about to get into next we see that he leaves the body there so if that's the case I don't think these two people are the same person. So if I don't think he's gonna get three, four bodies in this episode. So if I had to assume who the person they're burying is, it'll be the parole officer, especially because Tommy already knows about it. Like I said, and he looks happy, bro. Was smiling, happy as shit. Diamond did that. So I think they're gonna get rid of the parole officer. Moving on to the person Diamond is drowning. I actually think this person is Leon's killer. Of course, Diamond was there when Leon fought the two dudes and got shot so he saw their faces i think diamond will get revenge like i said he's already crashing out he's on demon time i think he will go out his way to kill the person that killed leon try to make himself feel better and i don't think it'll help but if it, it will probably be something he feel like he has to do once again he was there he's seen the two dudes faces but he just couldn't do anything to save leon he didn't have his gun on him he wanted to try to get him to the hospital call the police make sure he was safe but nothing could be done in time i think he was growing too close of a bond with leon buying him comics once again like i said teaching him out of box and i think he will decide that he wants to go and get his revenge on the two people he saw shoot him and moving on to the last one of course who do I think they're torturing? Cause I feel like a lot of people miss this scene and it might not even be a scene, but it looks like something is taking place and they try to skip by it 
fast as fuck and i honestly think they are torturing vic in this scene i think it might take place where they might kidnap vic and janar and try to get one of them to admit that they're the snitch i think diamond and tommy will be working totally together this entire two final episodes especially because they know everything about each other literally diamond is probably going to be the only person tommy alerts that there is a snitch there is an informant so i think they're going to be working closely and i think they're going to kidnap either janard or vic and try to get them to tell them that they're the snitch that they're the rat and take them out from there i don't think it's vic in the drowning scene or in the burial scene like i said I already mentioned who those two people are but I think they will try to get him and take him out because we also seen a trailer Vic in the car with Tommy and bro look kind of scared I'm not gonna even lie and it kind of makes sense if he's snitching giving all this information on Tommy he just told Stacy that it was Tommy who killed Fargus even though it was him so I think it makes the most sense that it is Vic in them circumstance and I don't know if he says or they find out he is the snitch in this episode nine. I do think they finally decided to do something about him and put him to test to figure out once and for all who is the informant overall that's it for this video you guys can let me know what you think about diamond being on demon town down below and let me know who do you think it is in all three of these scenes who do you think it is diamond is drowning what do you think is taking place in the scene with the shovels and do you think they're torturing someone in the scene with the knife passing around looks like two people working together let me know all your thoughts and opinions and everything you guys think is gonna take place because your theories are just as good as mine and i love to hear them if they're amazing i'll even shout you out make videos about them whatever once again leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out